Welcome to lesson 5.7, sums of angle measures in polygons. Now I know we went over some of the rules and theorems that you're going to see in this lesson to help you get ready for your semester exam, but I did want to take a few minutes to go back through, make this an official lesson before we move on into chapter six material. So as we go through this again, a couple of these may be repeats of things from the exam review. So just do your best to follow along and make sure that you understand the few theorems in this lesson. So the first theorem we're looking at is the quadrilateral sum theorem, which simply states the sum of the measures of angles of a convex quadrilateral is 360. So a key there is that it has to be convex, quadrilateral, four sides. So the sum of the interior angles of any convex four-sided shape is 360 degrees. So our first example is looking over here at our quadrilateral TRAP. They gave us three of the interior angles, 68, 117, and 96. If we do 360 minus those three angles, we will get our measurement for our missing fourth angle T. So 360 minus angle P, R, and A left me with 79 degrees for angle T. Then for any general polygon, we have the polygon sum theorem which says the sum of the measures of an angle of any convex n-gon, so any convex polygon, again, remember convex doesn't work for concave, our expression is the number of sides minus 2, in parentheses, multiplied by 180. So if we have a pentagon, five sides, you would do 5 minus 2, which is 3, 3 times 180, 540. If we have a 15 gon, which is 15 sides, 15 minus 2, 13, 13 times 180. Or dodecagon, 12 sides, 12 minus 2 is 10, 10 times 180 gives me 1,800 degrees. Then, in example 3, it asks us to find the sum of angles F and G. So we're just finding the sum of these two angles in the end. So right away, I know my figure has seven sides. It's a heptagon. So to figure out the total angle measure, seven minus two is five. Five times 180 tells me my heptagon should have 900 degrees. I'm missing just angles F and G. So if I do 900 minus all the known angles here, so minus these five angle measures, which equals 613, so 900 minus the 613 tells me that angle F and G have a sum of 287 degrees. I'm not sure which is which or how it's broken, but these two together is 287 degrees. And then we get to our exterior angle theorem for triangles, which says, in a triangle, the measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two interior angles whose vertices do not touch that exterior angle. So in this case, if we're looking at angle V here, Angle V, this exterior angle, would equal the two interior angles added together that do not touch angle V. So the 84 plus 52. So 84 plus 52 is the measure of angle SVE on the exterior here, which would give us 136 degrees. And then we have example four, which there is a way we could do this the long way or with the theorem from above. 
So if we were given this diagram and we didn't use the theorem from above, we know all triangles are 180 and we know linear pairs are 180. So what I could do is I could do 72 taken away from 180, giving me 108 for this angle here. Then 108 plus the 40 gave me 148, and 180 minus the 148 tells me x is 32. Or I could use my theorem from above, which tells me my exterior angle here, 72, is equal to this angle plus this angle. So 72 equals x plus 40. Subtract 40, and x equals 32 degrees. So either approach gets you the correct answer. And then our final theorem for this lesson is the polygon exterior angle theorem, which says the sum of the measures of all the exterior angles of a convex n-gon, or any convex polygon, is 360. So if I have this quadrilateral right here, I have one, two, three, four exterior angles. So four sides, four exterior angles. I know that the total of these four is 360. So if I wanted to find out what each vertex was, I would do 360 divided by four. So find the sum of the measures of the marked angles in the diagram at the right. In this diagram, the marks do not mean that the angles have equal measure. So our four marked angles here, there's one per vertex of my original quadrilateral. So according to my theorem, these four added together is 360 degrees.